Welcome to my workshop. In this video I'm going to build a simple card for my table saw. Since getting my table saw I was planning to build a card for it so that I could move it around in the workshop. I don't have too much space so when I don't use the saw it should be possible to put it out of the way. So at the moment I'm going to build a simple box on wheels. Perhaps later I'm going to add a drawer and some other accessories to put some stuff um, for the table saw on it but at the moment it's just going to be a simple box put together with dowels. If you're interested, stick around. I started out with a simple drawing with which I worked out the dimensions of the cart. Recently I thought it might be nice to have all ideas and drawings in a single place, so I've put them in a book with blank pages. I got the pieces of 21mm birch plywood cut to size in the store, and before I did any work on them, I did a test assembly to make sure all measurements were correct. I had worked out the height of the cart so that the top of the table saw would be exactly level with my workbench. That way I can use the workbench as an outfeed table if necessary, and the table saw as an extension to the workbench. I then cut a 16mm dado into all four pieces into which the back panel was going to be set. I made the back from the same 21mm material as the rest to make the cart more sturdy and because I want to be able to attach things to it. When I was finished it took me a while to realize that I had made a mistake. On the top and bottom pieces I shouldn't have cut the dado all the way through because it's going to show on the outside. Next I drilled the holes for the dowels. Since I don't have a plate jointer I use the Wolfcraft Dowel Master. It's a bit cumbersome and tedious but it works alright. On that piece of scrap I marked the positions of the dowels so they be all in the same place on every board. After drilling the top and bottom pieces I had to adjust the dowel mask to the thickness of the material so that the sides of the card would be exactly flush, flush with the top and bottom. I temporarily put in the dowels because they mark the positions of their corresponding holes. At this point it's very important to set the depth stop of the drill bit correctly. Another test assembly to work out the exact dimensions of the back panel, which I then cut to size. The data of the back panel is only 16mm across because that's the large straight cutter bit I have. So I cut a rabbit into the back panel to fit it into the dado. For that I took the depth of the dado with the combination square. I made small test cuts until the depth of the router bit was just right.
Afterwards, I chamfered the inside edges of all the pieces because they wouldn't be accessible after assembly. Then came the glue up, but my phone battery died a short moment before, so I only have photos after everything had been glued together. With the dowels, it's important to have strong clamps in addition to the quick fix clamps because dowels often don't fit as exactly as biscuits and you need the force of a traditional clamps to close of a traditional clamp to close the joint. After the glue had dried, I sanded the outside surfaces and then glued and screwed two extra strips of plywood to the bottom where the wheels were going to be attached. This is for extra strength in this area. I attach the wheels using bolts. Two of them have strong brakes to fix the cart. Then the basic card was finished. I can push it around easily and lock the wheels with the brakes when I want to use the saw. To finish it off, I attached some cleats to the top and bottom of the sides. Let's call them bumper cleats, because you never know what might bump into a table saw card from the side. Accidentally, they also cover the holes from the dado peeping through. The card also got a coat of linseed oil on the outside and is now ready for use. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. See you next time.